Good kitten internet, I'm resuming where I left off. I had said that I was going to teleport back, but I didn't. Uh, I picked up more teleport gems, by the way. Forgot to even mention that. Ah, uh, Holst. You are hard to navigate. I'm not a fan of the town. Maya's here. That's the only kitten you're gonna see at the moment, because I actually don't know where the Isin's sleeping at right now. Probably with my housemate. And let's teleport back to Baskar and do the thing. I want to say it's by the rock. No, not that rock. That rock. Anyway. All right. Hidden Trial Arena. It's very hidden. So hidden I didn't see it when I came in. All right. Here's the entrance. This is as far as I'm able to guide you. <laughs> this is the Temple of Gu This is the Temple of Guardians. So this is the Trial Arena for testing the uh, pillar. And the chosen candidate is... Dim. In the back of the temple, there's a hall called the Wall. The knights protecting the candidate can go that far. But on the other side of the wall... Uh, well, it's just me alone, right? Everyone has times when they're all alone. Just because it's someone you really like doesn't mean you can be together all the time. Just because someone it's someone you really like doesn't mean you can be together all the time. Even if it's really hard, you'll just want to get through it okay. You're a guy, you should be more upbeat. Not quite sure what Lilka's trying to say here. I don't know what this test is, but think of it as something positive that gets you ahead. Right! Uh, yeah, you're right. I guess. If your energy level's up for it, you can do anything! It's almost like magic. Don't worry, we'll protect you. It's something I choose to do, so I can't be glum about it. Thank you very much. I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. I'm off now. Is it okay? Are they leaving? I heard there's an interest place. Maybe I'll never see him again. I'm so spaced. Is it all right for me to stand up? There's no excuse, really. Is there something I should be saying right now? Something that'll make them like me? I remember saying uh, seeing that in the book. I'm not just not so sure anymore. Uh, wait. <coughs> there's a field of flowers nearby. Beautiful field of flowers that no one knows about. Uh, what am I talking about? Um, I'd like to go there. When we get back, I'd like you to show me the flowers. Uh, that actually worked. Yes, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting right here for you to come back. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and put Tim in the front again for a bit. I think this will be fine. And switch to Ashley for the inevitable booty call. Because... Why, hello there. I've been waiting. So you're the heir. You know, you can get your soul to communicate with this, with the sleeping old ruler guardians. Uh, who are you? Oh, oh, that's right. You find it inconvenient when there's no clear name for an existent being. It's Puka! It's Puka's Puka! Uh, what? Uh, uh, I, I don't understand. Among the various subspirits, Puka is special. The sense of self is weak. Mmm, I can't really explain it all that well. So in other words, Puka is Puka? And at the same time, there's something else. Do you understand? Ah, uh, um... Oh, in other words, it's that, right? I think this one's a translation issue. I'm sorry, I don't understand it at all. I've heard of the subspirit Puka. Because the sense of self is weak by taking on information matrices, one can copy other forms. That's it! That's exactly what I was trying to say. That one is none other than Puka! 
Um, I'm Tim, but why is the subspirit waiting for me? Puka's sole role is to guide you under the Guardian's direction. Come with us, Tim. The Guardians want you before it's too late. When Puka's power is needed, use D to call him. For places you can't get to, Puka can search it for you. Puka is Tim's skill. Or tool, I should say. I might be in the way, but please let me fight too. Last night I heard from the village chief that I'm a Zoa priest, just like my mother. By defeating monsters, I'm able to extract power from the medium I'm equipped with. Almost as though I've been doing that for the previous episode. I want to pass the drum. I want to be stringing too, so please, give me a chance. Puka, Chief and Unlocked. Handpan's so much cooler than Puka in my mind. So, this is what Puka does. I can go around and hit things. So, for instance, that. Handpan is a much cooler companion. Puka has far less personality. There's loot. It's up there, okay. We'll have to get up there. Okay, there's no other loot here. Oops, did not mean to actually slip and fall. Okay, yeah, there's... Bonk. I was hoping and I was correct that this is the way up. Puka time! But Puka has a limited range. But hey, look, crests. cannot reach that one because Puka can go over walls, but I'm too high up. That's the problem. Mm, I think I need to go the other way. I think I accidentally went plot direction. It's a squirm! So something I should note is that uh, he's not high enough level to actually use his attacks, and as I mentioned, I gained one of each of the first element attacks, plus a second level of, in this case, fire. So I have Napalm hit. Ooh, I need to reorder these. Um, and unfortunately, first aid requires 24 force points. It's annoying. Once Tim is actually level 24, that's when, um, well, I have the best healer in the game by far. Dig out, in case if it lives. I'm just guessing with Spark. Uh, really, I should be waiting on that for like water units now that I think about it. Oh, it's dead already. Well, I don't know why Tim's pose is him getting attacked. Also, why his shoes are so big? I mean, everybody's feet are big. That's part of the style, but his shoes are really, really big. Maybe he's gonna grow up to be really tall. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 down, 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 down. Bing duckies. Yeah, it doesn't help that Puka's slow by comparison. Where are you? Fairy lights. I'm gonna assume you're weak against light, which is an element I don't have. Ah, 
Uh, yeah, let's just pineapple. Tim's not going to be doing much in combat for a while, by the way. Pineapple. That's a little overkill. Hmm. Heart leaf. Nullify is downhearted. But what we actually want is a moonstone. Nice if Tim had better luck, but alas, that's not happening right now. All right, now we can go back plot ways. Um, let me. Do, 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 do. There we go. Just fast forward a little bit. Oh, derp. Dang it, me. Ah, they're weak against wind. Silly squirms. They're also weak against getting punched in the face. Who would have thought? Okay, we have gotten that treasure chest now. Just notice that this is the same tile map as the prison. Illsville. need to press the button. is not going to be able to reach that. That's why I'm confused. Because I'm way... I'm up way too high. So I have to do this with me. Yeah, it's a timing thing. really don't like Puka. I'm sorry, Puka fans. I know, I'm letting down everybody in the Puka fandom. Okay, there's a side passage. With loot! Mini carrots! Awesome! A mini carrots, good job me. It's more that I changed it into a plural part of the way through. By the way, how are you? Um... I'm doing better today than I did previous days, but that's not saying much. Mm. I feel like I've been pierced. It feels as if all the wills here on the grounds are gathering. Mm, do you feel it? Those are the vibrations of the guardians. Their wills turn into vibrations, searching for powerful shapes. This is one of the trials, too. Bad senses can't feel the hostility in these vibrations. But watch out, they're testing us. Compound plant monster Regilius. Alright. So. First off. Yes, I want to make sure that Brad is the one that has nullifies confusion because Brad can one-shot Tim. And that would be bad. We don't want to one-shot Tim. 
In addition, I don't really need his resilience up. I want instead his strength to be up. Punch to the face. Actually, oh, that's right. That's the problem. I can't pickpocket unless if I do that. Hmm. I don't know if I can pickpocket anything useful. So I'm going to use a lucky card instead because Tim needs XP. Lilka, you're going to flame. Tim, you're going to attack so you can actually get some first. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Because it's weak against fire, because it's a plant creature. I mean, it looks like a flower on its head in my mind. Yes, attack Lilka, that's fine. Yeah, these enemies do very little damage because they're expecting Tim to be a little underleveled. You know what, Brad? I am going to try to pickpocket because, you know, thieves got a thief, right? Uh, you're going to flame, and Tim is going to red butte, which is the fire attack version. Or, guardian fire version. It's Tim's flame. Ball. 11.37. Big pocket? Yoink. Ooh, big berries. Nice. That was almost worth it. Napweed. Let me guess. Tim is still not going to be able to attack because he's confused. No. Red Butte. Hey, look. It's the exact same spell. So, yep. Luca's now asleep. So little damage because he's half the level. Um. Oh, well, now that I've stolen, let me go switch Brad back to Raw Armstrong. Not smash it. Lock on Bazooka. Tim, you're going to first aid because we need healing. Wee! First aid! First aid for life! It doesn't heal much, but Tim's really low level, so I'm giving him a pass. He's half level. The rest of the party. Come. On. Also, it's area of effect healing this early in the game. Oh boy, this might be a problem. Yep, they're both confused, and Lilka's sleepy and confused. Great. Well, Brad can probably finish this off, right? Oh, Lilka woke up. Tim's not too far off of hitting condition green, so. Wormy would extract. Tim's dead, isn't he? Nope. Tim, bonk! Did 80 damage. You're almost at condition green, but not quite. Um, I am actually going to heal Barry Tim because I'm a little concerned about Tim getting KO'd. By Lilka. It already happened. Damn it! Welp, I'm going to need to revive Tim, and Lilka is still confused. Lilka needs to hit Condition Green. Which, Lilka is going to hit Condition Green from this, so that's helpful. Okay. Now that Lilka's condition green, Brad, you're... Yeah, you can lock on Bazooka because Lilka was going to go first and can use a revive fruit. So what I'm actually going to do is mystic revive fruit, just in case. Also to use a force level so she goes down and can come back up again to condition green again. See? Strategy. I don't want Tim dead for this. I may end up having to shove Tim in the back row again, now that I'm thinking about it. I probably should have. He's too low level right now, but are you dead yet? Yes, you are. Good. Mission successful. 4,000 XP! 4,000 Gela! Tim leveled up twice! Compound plant monster Regalius defeated. 
at the trial? That monster was a guardian? Oh, that wasn't a guardian. The first rulers of Philgaia, the first guardians, had absolutely no power in the physical world. And what was that just now? Even we were attacked by it. Well, it was probably just testing not only the pillar, but the strength of the knights protecting the pillar. You've driven it away. Uh, the trial... No. Doesn't look like it's over yet. There's a voice calling to me. In order for me to become the pillar, I guess I have to go even further. Alright. We need to save, and I need to heal up Tim, because this is going to be the point where Tim leaves on his own, and we're going to power level him. After this video, I'm going to have to make a copy of the save again. Yep. Okay. Save state. Let's go ahead and use a big berry or a heal berry on Tim, who has far more hit points than he used to. That's nice. 12 means that he can now use spells on his own, but this is the wall that we're referring to for reference. He who is not fit to be the pillar shall not pass. The heir to the pillar will take a test the test alone. So this is where we let everybody else off. Uh, let's see, I want to make sure I have everything equipped that I want. Uh, actually, Magic Guardian is the correct one. Well, the wall must start here. What waits on the other side is... my trial. Yes. The ability to materialize the powers of the Guardians, which are now only consciousness. For your trial, you must get a hold of the Combine. With Puka. Puka and I? Didn't I say it at the start? I said go together. Tim and Puka must be together at all times. I want everyone to heart hand over their mediums. The medium is the petrified version of the Guardians' informa information matrix. For the combine, it's essential to have a medium. Okay. Bloop. Yeah, it actually doesn't have anything. Combine. So this is the other power concealed in the medium which Mom told me about. Go, Tim. So, uh, does Tim actually have the ability yet? I don't think so. I think that's after this. Yeah. All right. So now we have Puka time. Oop. Couldn't make it all the way across. Okay. Oh, patience is a virtue I don't have time for. That doesn't work. I have to run across all of them. I don't have any faster way of getting across, so... There. Yeah, these are boring in my mind, because this is just, hey, look, press a button and run, over and over and over again. There's a treasure chest up there. I can't get there right now. 
Tim must fight alone. All right. But Tim actually has powers. I really need to reorder these. Luckily, the enemies in this dungeon are really weak. Brav. So weak, in fact, that I believe they these are percentile uh, percent damage attacks. Rock Dolt. Razander. Might as well first aid myself, because I can. You only do 50 damage after all. Water. So much grab. Tim leveled up 13. Good job, Tim. I mean, now that we have all of the up HPs, I am perfectly happy with him leveling up quite a bit. And we're going to be leveling up quite a bit, to put it mildly. So, Tim is in the unique position of actually being in a... Um, uh, no, I have to actually lock down. So yeah, Tim's in the unique position of being able to level up as much as we want. And oh boy, am I going to be power leveling him. Uh, we figured out that this was weak against rock. No, not rock. Um, wind. Chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Thunk. All of this is just Tim. So, um, first off, I'm going to actually remember to reorder this. Like that. So that will actually show basically all of the theoretical powers any guardian that we have in the party has for reference. It won't show any powers of guardians that we don't have yet. It also won't show any powers of or it'll also show powers of all guardians that we have, regardless of whether they've ever been equipped on Tim or not. Which is nice. Okay. Uh. We haven't tried Red Butte yet. Getting gravved again. Now, this is actually getting a little dangerous. Raise Amber. Raise Amber? I think it's supposed to be Raise Ander, but eh. Yeah, they're not weak against anything I have. It doesn't particularly matter which one I use. I'll heal after I kill the next one. Bonk, 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 bonk. First aid. It's nice to have a healing spell that always goes first in my mind. Uh, actually, I'm going to first aid again. Because you're... it's So, for healing, there's two situations that I like. Going first and going last. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any healers in the party that will ever go last. Loka's a fairly fast character. Octolt. Oh, I probably could have used my other one now that I think about it. Oh, well. Mmm, big berries. Uh, so yeah, he is by far the best healer in the game. There, it's not even close on the other ones. Ah, dang it. I didn't time it quite right. I had the right idea, I just didn't time it. Like I said, I really don't like Buka. Nope. 
seconds time. This light. The medium odor rook is shining again. Listen to the light, Tim. Listen to the light. Tim, you can do it. You are the air. It's real. I hear a voice. You're the one who's turned our will into power. You, designated as air. State your name. Tim. My name is Tim Rhymeless. Your blood becomes my will. Your flesh becomes my power. My blood? My flesh? What in the world? You, burdened with the fate of death, go forth and overcome it. The unending trial has awakened us. Alright, this is going to be a weird battle, and it's going to take a while, too. Because I is a transforming ninja monster, Genaneros. There we go. Release all of the force that you've saved until level 2. The informa information matrix of the medium will let Puka change into a powerful shape. The user's force and Puka's ability to transform, release together, form a combined. First, take the guardians who have offensive powers like Grudyev and equip them in the guard slot. Puka and Tim put in motion a combine. Just leap over any trial that's in the way. So, we have a guardian ability now. It's the summon guardian from Wild Arms 1. It just, in order to be able to do it, you have to have Tim in the party. It's not just a anybody can do it situation. Also, only it's not everybody is going to have a guardian at force level two. We'll just put it that way. Anyway, um, so we have a duty to happen first, and that is to use rise and shine immediately. So there's going to be a whole bunch of clones of this enemy. Every time we kill one of these enemies, they will give 2,000 XP and 2,000 Gala. So the first thing I did was I used Rise and Shine. Very similar to Awaken from Wild Arms 1, it's a spell that whenever I fall asleep, I immediately wake up. This enemy does two different status effects, Sleep and Poison. That's the reason why I have a Moonstone equipped to prevent Poison, and casting Rise and Shine means that I'm immune to sleep. So I should be good. Um... So yeah, next thing I'm going to do is lucky card. I want Tim to have all the XP. Hey, lullaby. That's an air. That's a sleep spell, of which Tim is not actually affected, and he would wake up immediately anyway. Alright, it doesn't matter which one of these I use. We're going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding. See, so I would fall asleep there, except that I'm into it right now. I get hit for 86 damage. Bonk, 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 bonk. See, it does not matter what element I use. They should be weak against all of them, I believe. Let's double check that. Pill, which heals. This is a very annoying battle. This is the reason why I need to build up my force power, basically. Yep, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm actually going to attack to make my force power go up a little faster. There we go. All right. First off, let's go ahead and first aid Tim. I don't want him to accidentally get knocked out. That would be annoying. Lots of healing going on, and that's fine. Now we can do a napalm hit. We have level 2 magic already. Napalm hit. Bonk. So much more damage. Okay. Okay. 
So what we're going to have to be a little special about this. What we're going to end up doing is that we're going to use Napalm Hit twice and then one thing once. However, now that they've pilled, I can probably just Napalm Hit a third time and be fine. I'm going to go ahead and save state just in case. Napalm Hit. Uh, they've each actually been pilled now that I think about it. Yep, there we go. So I've learned Turn Undead now. So I can actually equip a different Guardian. <laughs> so I'm going to. Uh, Fire is the one that I already have. I'm going to go ahead and equip Fenlagon. Fengalon. I keep doing that. Uh, this turn is a good turn for first aid because they're going to clone themselves again. And then it's another napalm hit, I believe. I'm pretty sure when they replicate, they're at full hit points. Easy way to find out, that healed zero. Yes, that is correct. So this will end up killing the one on the right. Yep. Maybe it. One left's taken two napalm hits, and one the right's taken one. I know these napalm hits are doing less damage, that's fine, in my mind. One the left got pilled, one on the right got pilled. Okay. I think it's safe for me to napalm hit again. Problem is the way the camera angle is, and I should probably change the camera where it's not constantly rotating. It's hard for me to tell. Nope, that's not safe. I want to get more XP out of this. I don't think I can change the camera options right now. So instead, rebuke one of them. I can't change the options, right? No, I can't. First aid. Yeah, first aid doesn't heal as much as you would hope. Red Butte. <coughs> yeah, the spinning makes it really hard for me to tell which one's being healed. Glad I have save states, because otherwise this would be obnoxious. Okay. Eight. Napalm hit. Should kill the one left? No. Again, it's really hard for me to tell which one's being healed. It's annoying. One left healed twice, I believe. Imagine how much more powerful this would be if I actually had, like, an increased magic attack or anything. Probably move Napalm Hit at the top, given how often I'm using it this battle. Napalm Hit. See? I can keep leveling up all day. At this point, I'm probably just not going to try to keep them balanced. I'm just going to keep Napalm Hitting until I'm ready. I don't know how much 
XP I want. I want Tim to at least be level 20 out of this. Because Tim needs to be at the level of everybody else in the party. Okay, I need to pay attention to his hit points again. Oh, I actually did take out both of them. 40,000 XP. Tim hit 21. I'd say that's pretty good. I'll just keep it there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Transforming Ninja Monster Geno Naros. Naros. The Hoss evaded our illusions. He's the power of the air. Tim, you cheated death. The proof is here. Thou art the heir. By releasing us, the pillar becomes an offering of preferred soundly, very soundly, oh sorry, the pillar becomes an offering, preferred soundly, very soundly. We await thy next pillar. An eclipse will fill Fulgaya's sky. Thou, t thou wilt stand at the sacrificial altar to deter this menace. Sacrificial altar. Did I pass the trial? I actually passed the trial, didn't I? I can't believe it. Better believe it. Make no mistake, your power of belief guided reality. You realize truth. I passed the trial. It's like a dream. But I'm so happy my heart is pounding. Even Puka is excited. It's as if Puka caught Tim's excitement. I'm so excited. I want to hurry and get back to the others. I want the others to feel my excitement. Tim, Puka. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. We were all nervous waiting here. Now that you're higher level than all the rest of us. <laughs> so you become the, uh, you pass the trial to become the heir? Yes, it seems that I passed, but it doesn't seem, it doesn't feel real. My pounding heart's the only thing that feels different. You did well, Tim. I'm getting excited now, too. Boy, this excitement's really catching. Yep, sure seems that way. It's time to give you the powers Tim got by passing the trial. Part of the power is sustaining Filgaia. The Guardian's power can be realized through Puka. This is the Combine! For the Combine, everyone's force is needed. It's a joint effort which, using our force, allows Puka to duplicate the Guardian's shape and abilities. So we need to remember that this trick can only be used when Puka's with us. So everybody present gains Combine. However, you can only use it if Tim is in the active party. It's a really interesting combination. So, yep, this is a thing. And, Colette, Tim, it's over. Huh? Huh? She's been unlocked, force combined. See, it's the field of flowers. Ah. really amazing. I understand why you'd want to show someone. Yep. Um, but I haven't shown anyone yet. Huh? You're the first. You took the test for me, right? Um, that's not true can't look at you, so it's obviously not true. Do you think so? That's why I wanted to show you the thing most important to me. Because flowers are their prettiest in that moment. Thank you. Scoot. 
I wish the flowers would stay pretty like this forever and ever. Scoot even closer. Oh, I wish I can. It could always be like this forever and ever. Scoot closer. Yep. Oh, the first romance of the game that's not just immediately assumed to not be a real romance. You did it, Tim. You were accepted as pillar. Accepted as pillar. I knew that any child of Sabrina's could do it. I'm sure she'd be happy. You should be proud. Remember what was said earlier. Sabrina ran away of her own free will. Tim, you did well. This is a gift from all of us. Accept it as a token of our appreciation. Ten heel berries. Yeah. Three big berries. One mega berry. I'm sure that the trial has exhausted you. Take a well-earned rest. Yes, that means that Ashley will be once again cured of forgetfulness. Survive the trial. If I were to call the guardians. I'm so excited I can't sleep. Well, the ceremony went according to plan. Yep, this music obviously means everything's fine. <laughs> that means we have a new pillar. Just as we foresaw, it had to be someone of Sabrina's blood. At least, at last we have the pillar, safe keeping the power of the Guardians. Because today, we, again, we have the pillar. The world will be safe no matter what the vision meant. Pillar? Sacrifice? What are they talking about? It all started the day Sabrina ran away from the village so her son wouldn't become Pillar. And the shoe drops. For ten long years since then, we have scoured Vilgaia for that boy. But it's over now. The life of Tim is in hand, and with it, Vilgaia will be protected. A life whose purpose is to die. I? Me? I don't understand. Didn't you know? Today your life was offered to the Guardians as Pillar. That's strange. Didn't you know all of this before going to the Trial Arena? The Trial is to become Pillar. It's to give your life to the Guardians. Nope, 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 nope. Die, me, die, can't be. No, I'm scared. I don't want to die. How can they be all so casual about it? Who is it? Who's there? Tim, were you listening? Am I to die then? Do I really have to die? Yes, Tim. You must accept your destiny as pillar, as the sacrifice. If you don't, the world will pay a terrible price. There are people who you want to protect in this world, right? This is the only way. There's sometimes when someone must be sacrificed. Please understand, Tim. Remember calling back to the very start in the very theme of Wild Arms 2 of heroism. A hero is someone who sacrifices their life for others. You have to die for Philgaia. I have a family! Or, sorry, I have a family! You can't perish! Or the world can't perish, or else I'm begging you, please die! Little Tim, we need your life! Give it to us, or Gaia dies! Remember, Tim is 12. This is really freaking creepy and horrible, and that's the reason why I kept going, Ugh. But there's a reason why the game's doing this. It's to show you that something is horribly wrong with Baskar. Please die. You must die. No, no, no. Ah! You must give your life for all our sakes. You will die. 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 Fun, huh? Happy go lucky, perfectly fine, absolutely nothing wrong game, right? What in the world? How can you sacrifice a child? 
won't let you get away with this. Calm down, Ashley. How do you expect me to? Don't you care about life at all? Yes, life, you know. With Tim's one life, the lives of everyone in Philgaia will be saved. There's nothing else to do. The ends are worth such a sacrifice, but that's it's just like Odessa. Her only choice is to make Colette a new power, a new guardian. Don't save anything. Ashley's so angry that the chateau shum rumbles. What? Number two bulkhead has been breached. Someone is invading Valeria Chateau. Oh, look at me. I'm standing right here. It's them. The chateau's hull is made of a special, specially refined alloy called Della Metallica. You remember the book Della Metallica from Wild Arms 1? Here's your next reference. Someone has broken through the bulkhead and is coming this way. Now conducting magnetic resonance scan of the interior. As you can tell, maybe you should think about escaping. I can't believe it. If this continues, Baskar Village could be harmed too. Ascend to the elevation of 1800. We'll shut the invaders in. We're going to. So, first off, we don't have Tim in the party. And second off, Ashley is once more in the front at level 3 with no forgetfulness. On the plus side, this won't take long for him to die. He's way too low level at this point. We've captured the intruders, a man and a woman. They are the enemies. Judica and Antonora. Hmm, well, we'll begin our fun. They aren't fools. They'll be coming any second. I'll search for the pillar boy. You handle everything else. Judica? What? Don't kill too many. I hate needless killing. I know, I know. Blah, 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 blah. Just confuse him. We're after the pillar boy. Remember, just confuse him. Something's happened. I'm stooping to doubt the safety of the ship. In my humble opinion, we've stumbled into a war zone. It's about to stumble into us. What is that? I can't believe we're in this mess. In my humble opinion, I wish I hadn't come. Scott's opinion is nowhere near. They're after Tim's power! Let's hurry! On orders of Lords Vinfield, or uh, Lord Vinsfield, we'll take the Pillar Boy. That's right. It's time for us to fight into Nora. Special Coctus Squad member, Antonora. What what she looks like in the 3D polygon view. Ah! She actually looks pretty good. I bet you thought you ne your home base wouldn't be... Never thought... Ah! Let me start that over. I bet you never thought your home base would be attacked. We found this place easily by tracing Alfiel's lingering Karelian energy ratings. Which makes all of that nonsense with Ptolemy wasn't useless after all. All right, Antonora. I mean, Ashley's just going to die anyway. So I'm going to have Ashley equip Grudyev and... Uh, actually, that's not even useful. Ashley, just attack, just in case if she only attacks one target. Attack. Wilka, just hit with spells. Ooh, 
I'm actually faster than Antonora. I thought Antonora was a fairly fast character. I love the outfit on Antonora, by the way. I should have changed the option for Camera Rotich. Excuse me. Ooh, Antonora has a counterattack, which I dodged, but still. Ephemeron! Ephemeron hurts like hell, by the way. It can also cause status effects, if I remember right. Holy crap, Ashley got to attack! Ashley did 54 damage! Antonura counterattacks Ashley and kills him. Herc. Much better. Lock on Bazooka. Um, go ahead and spark again. Bow, 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 bow. Lock on. Bazooka. Bonk. Shockwave. All right, Loka needs to be healed this turn. Lock on Bazooka. Loka, heal yourself. We're just gonna trample all over Ashley's unconscious body. It's fine. Bazooka. Femeron. And poisoned and sleeping. Great. Oh boy, that's not a good combination. And do I even have Rise and Shine? No. And I used my Crest Cap, and I haven't had a chance to rememorize something onto it. Cool. Well, Brad will wake up the next time he gets hit, so I think. Was that? And you're ephemeroning Lilka. Am I screwed? Downheartedness. Okay. Alright, Brad is at least just poisoned now. That's something I can deal with. Um, uh, Mystic Big Berry. I need some healing fast. Oh, Lilka looks sad. I never noticed that the facial faces actually change. Punch! Shockwave! Zink. Brad, lock on Bazooka, Lilka, um... Spark. So what um, Downheartedness does is it drops their Force Gain. Which sucks. But it's better on Lilka than it is on Brad right now. Also, she's slower. Oh no, that's right. Brad actually has Force FP... Or FP up. <coughs> so Brad's gaining more speed over force increases. Blue if I'm wrong. Just damage, okay. Last bazooka, because I don't have too much of that right now. Um, yeah, you see how little force Lilka is gaining from this? I don't think she has very many hit points. Luka leveled up. Well, I can't buy any more time. That outfit. She is definitely a buckle mage. This is enough fun for now. Judica should have the pillar boy by now. My job's done. Teleport. I said wait! First, we have to save Tim! Uh, I have to die, it seems. If I don't die, there's no point in having lived, anyway. 
Proof that I was here will only come if I'm gone. This is so toxic. Holy crap. And it's shown as being toxic in the game. That's the reason why I haven't been arguing against this depiction. This is shown as being a horrible thing in game. And please, anybody watching this that may be having bad thoughts, this is part of the reason why I needed to lay awake, by the way, is so I can be in a better mental state, because I knew this was coming. You are not worthless just because... Er, your worth is not from being dead. How about that? By the way, this is a boss rush. So, this is, video is going to run long. Huh. I'm scared, I'm so scared! No! What? I want to protect you. You and everyone else. I want to run. I want to run away from it all. I want to protect you so that you aren't scared ever again. The only thing I can do to help you is... Is what? What can you do? It's obvious, isn't it? Run. You can do that, right, Tim? Tony? What are you doing here? We wanted to fight with the dude and the others, too. So we snuck on board. That eh, wasn't so smart, was it? Oh. In my humble opinion, I think we'll just hold you back. But you could do something, right? With those powers of yours? Tony, I... Go fight with the dude and the others. Do it for us. No, for young arms. We're friends, so I'll give you my hand. But you'll have to get up on your own, Tim. Tony, what should I do? Do what you want to. If you do what you really want to, I'm sure you'll find a way to succeed. I'm going! Suck it to him! And give the dude a hand for us, too. In my humble opinion, Tim is now a force to be reckoned with. Uh, yeah, Tim is the higher level than the rest of the party. Not by much, though. Don't be stupid. Tim was always like this. In the beginning, Tim was a force to be reckoned with. If he weren't, he would have never been in Young Arms in the first place. Hmm, the Pillar Boy. Will you tell me where he is now? Or would you prefer pain? I like pain. I'll never tell you. The Pillar exists to aid the world, not to be your plaything. Feeble-minded old man. What? What's that? Is that the blue dragon? Grid, you have the guardian of Earth. Is that the pillar boy? You better get out of the way now. If you don't. If I don't what? You'll have to face me. Don't get uppity on me now. You're the sacrifice, remember? That's right. A one-on-one -on -one fight between Judica and Tim. Special Cocta Squad member, Judica. Get a lot of the Cocta's theme going. I don't feel like playing games. But... The initial plan was to capture you, but it looks like I'll have to punish you, too. Removing your ears wouldn't be too severe, I think. Resistance is futile. For some reason, I picture Judica being played by Brent Spiner. I don't know why. That's right, I actually have enough force power to just start bonking him on the head. Bonk, 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 bonk. Roll! Shoot! 78 damage. Oh yeah, I don't have the correct equipment. Derp. Butterick. Bonk, 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 bonk. Would have been nice if I would have been able to throw on some more personal skills on the Tim, because that would be... Really nice right about now, but alas, that's not the case. Bonk, 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 bonk. 
Douglas. It's a shotgun. Douglas the shotgun does 19 damage. 1-9. What the heck, game? Why even bother? I need to get up to 50 force power in order to be able to use the bigger attacks. Douglas! Bonk. Is that supposed to do like a status effect or something? Maybe it does poison and I'm just immune to poison. Switching the Sonic Claw. I think it's a faster attack. Sidewinder. 18 damage. This is a really easy fight. You know what? I'm punching you in the face. Because that'll get me enough force power. You're not doing enough damage otherwise. Miriam. Miriam's the higher damage attack at 337. Okay, that this is fine. Could do a summon, but no. I'm pretty sure Napalm Hit actually does more damage than the summon. Sidewinder. Ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. You know what? Let's try a summon anyway. Uh, Odoruk is not the correct summon. Odoruk is just a healing summon. Um, let's go with a Stoldark. Just so you can see it. Combine! So, Puka goes up to the sky. Assault Tide. Pomp. I'm a turtle! A jet-powered turtle that will meow him directly into your face! So for reference, that does... 1,714 damage. I can't believe you've come so far already! Tim! You're safe. Ashley! Oh, now there are too many of them and only one of me. Change of strategy! The pillar cannot be captured, then destroy him! Blast the dawn! Blow them away! Blow up everything! Teleport. This is Kate. A bomb has been detected in the Valeria Chateau. The location is the catapult room. Should have known they would have used a bomb like that. Okay, everyone, let's go. You come with us. You're a part of the group. <laughs> Told you. Boss rush. Blast it on! Explosive red thunder toad. Blast it on. Thunder toad. Blast it on. Hey, look, it's the catapult room. How dare you, one right after another. Ribbit. Mm, disposal of explosive materials is a very delicate operation. I'll do it after I take care of all this. Ugh. Please wait. The search for explosives found them at the same point as the monsters on the warship. It's likely that the explosives have been implanted within the monsters' bodies. Oh, no, you're doing it wrong. The monsters themselves are the bombs. There's no mistake. The scanner detects no metal objects within the monsters' bodies. Detected in the liquid secreted by the monsters is something like a very volatile explosive. In other words, the monsters are living bombs. So they look like the monsters we found in the withered ruins. If we beat them, they'll all go kaboom together. Right. Then again, that's what they intended from the start. What do you plan on doing? You can't do nothing, can you? Oh, of course not. Section D-52 of the warship is equipped with a lever catapult. We'll use that to shoot them off. As always, you surely come up with the craziest ideas. They sure won't look like they're they put on top of the catapult. Prepare for battle. First, tire the monster weapons out. After that, we'll capture them. Battle preparations. Is it okay to include attacks? There are two points to consider in treating this bomb as a weapon. First is the power of the explosion itself. The second and the other is controlling the explosion. The better made the bomb, the less likely the explosion will be larger than expected. Okay, we'll give it a shot. I don't know why the size of the bomb matters in this case, but sure. It's still dangerous, Irving. You need to take cover. Unfortunately, I have to refuse. I am the chief. 
long as you are fighting with us, I can't let you leave here. I believe in you all. That's why I want you to accomplish your marvelous plan. You believe in us. You had me arrested. You're still an asshole, Irving. Roger, if someone believes in us, it will perform even better than our efforts. Oop, crap. I accidentally loaded state. Hold on a moment. Let me... Ah. Uh... Um... To do menu undo load state. There we go. Resave state and full screen this again. Wait for OBS to catch up. But while I'm doing that, uh, Tim is actually. I'm going to. Mm, mm, that's a good question, actually. Um, Tim attack left pouch. Ashley, in the event that you're alive, attack less left. Actually, no. Tim, use an antidote on Brad because he's still freaking poisoned. Ashley, attack left pouch in the event that you're still alive. Brad, attack left pouch in the likely event that you're still alive. All right, his eyes are no longer dark. It's good. Evil Quasar. And Ashley's dead. There we go. Now we can actually bring in the real team. All right. Now I can first aid. That's what I was waiting on. I wanted Ashley dead again. First aid. Oh, that's right. Luca's still downhearted. I'm going to need to deal with that. That is... Yeah, Peppy Acorn. Brad, lock on with an AM cluster, I guess. I am out of bullet. Lock on. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Three locks. Boom. <laughs> Terrible shade. Boom. Paralysis? No, okay. Alright, Tim, first aid. Lilka. Um, it's weak against both ice and fire. I'm just going to go with freeze because it's fun. And Brad. Go ahead and attack left pouch. Left pouch is the one that has paralysis attacks, that's why I want it gone first. <coughs> Sorry, couldn't help it. Alright. We're back. Tim, go ahead and Red Butte, left pouch. Lilka, go ahead and Freeze, left pouch. Brad, go ahead and Lock on AM Cluster, all the things. Pretty sure left pouch is going to be dead before it's Brad's turn, which is unfortunate. Turn order would be nice if it was in a slightly different way. Yep, left pouch is dead. I would have preferred Lilka to go after Brad in this case, but oh well, can't do much about that. Red Butte. Uh, you're targeting the main with that, aren't you? Terrible shade. Bonk. Bunking Lilka for 200. Eh, it's nothing. Red Butte, right pouch. Lilka. We'll go with a flame this time, just because. Brad, go punch. And two pouches for the price of one. Achievement unlocked. Poison bubble. 
Crap, poison. Oh wait, no, he's the one that's being poisoned right now. Sweet. Quit FP shift, that's not gonna be helpful. Let's just go after this. Blasted Blastodon. Um, I'm not sure which one of these actually do more damage. I think it's the AM cluster. That poor bla- it looks so sad! It's like, mm, I'm a toad, I'm gonna blow up. I'm sad that I'm a toad. Desperately need to reload ammo. Have not had a chance. And it's dead. Tim hit 22. Brad hit 21. Two vitality apples. Nice. We've confirmed the lowering of the monster weapon's bio patterns. All soldiers, evacuate! EM cage catapult, stand by! Explosive red thunder toad blasted on. That poor toad. It didn't ask to be a bomb. Start EM cage number one and two. Continue with three and four. Keep going! All soldiers, evacuate the catapult. Shoot the target warship! Start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, blah, 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 blah. Blew it! Oh, sorry, blew it. Stop! Get away from the catapult! You believed, so it can't end like this. Zero count! Release the catapult! Ashley! Access! Pillar in the sky explosion. A little overpowered. No, that hurt. All right, I can walk on my own. Don't talk. Is that an order? Yes, it's an odor. Odor? If you're worried about my body, you're barking up the wrong tree. But... I want to fight alongside you. I want to fight along with you, despite my body being in this shape. My desire to protect Phil Gaia won't be surpassed by anyone. I'm able to fight. You already are. Thank you. So unlike you. You're an asshole, after all. Everyone, hurry up! This way! Over here! Unconscious control. Does that mean it started stabilizing? Hmm. Is it running out of control? We have a lot of plot, by the way. <sighs> this is wonderful. Tim is the perfect pillar. With abilities as great as his, he will certainly be able to manifest the power of the kids. Please wait. No! Don't want to die. Tim. I want to do something for Phil Gaia. I want to protect the people that I love. That's why I want to fight. That's why I want to live. To fight. People say die, but I'm not so weak as to want to die. We are trying to include Tim in arms. Do the people of Baskar have a problem with that? No, I think it's fine. It would be meaningless for the Pillar to die before his time. If the Pillar doesn't give his life of his own volition, the power of the Guardians won't be released. And with that great power will be the save salvation of us all. If you truly want to protect that which you love, then lend us your strength. I don't want to die without being able to do something. I'm begging you, lend us your power to protect that which needs protecting. In that case, come back with us to Mariabool. The next battle awaits arms. 
a massive amount of cutscenes. I don't want to die. I don't want anyone to die. So take care, Chief. You too, Colette. I will be back. This is my home. Right? Will you be able to forgive me, Tim? My daughter, Sabrina. Will your son ever be able to forgive me? That's right. The village elder is Tim's grandfather. That's how this all happened. That's how all of this ended up happening. Because the village elder is almost much of a dick as Irving. Still more cutscenes! Holy crap, we have not really had a save point in, what, 40 minutes now? Oh, you have done well! I have done almost nothing. It's these fellows who deserve the real credit, I believe. Yes, indeed. You have my gratitude, too. Come now, relax, I say. You're all heroes. Your deeds even exceed my own. The king likes to jest. Don't be afraid to play along. Now then, let's discuss Sir Irving's proposal. Did you consider it, sire? I did. If Odessa means to wage war on a global scale, then we require the same capabilities. Therefore, Saya, we... I know we must fight Odessa on a global scale, but arms is limited by the many restrictions placed on its authority. To fight Odessa effectively, we must resolve the various issues between nations. Please, Sire, I must say, if we keep fighting Odessa the way we have been, they will gain the upper hand. I am aware of that. But your chief has given me a very good idea. He suggested that we hold another Fulgaia site. There are Mariabul, Silverland, and Guild Galad. We'll gather to discuss what the three nations can do about the terrorist problem. After the incident in Silverland, even stubborn Guild Galad have to attend. Sir Irving. Uh, yes, Saya. We need a secure place in which to hold the summit. A gathering of the three nations' leaders would present an inviting target. Don't worry, Saya. I know the safest place in all Filgaia. And where would that be? It's not on the ground. It's in the sky. You know, the place that was just invaded by Odessa. It's safe, we swear. I propose the holding the 71st Filgaia summit in the sky aboard Valeria Chateau. I see! It would be the first airborne summit. Yes, Saya. Odessa does have the Ver Verukius, but there is no way they can gain the advantage over us. And our most dependable troops will be waiting aboard in case Odessa does attack. Yes, I see. I give you a new mission. I order arms to protect the 71st Filgaia summit. An attack on the summit is o by Odessa is conceivable. The objective of this mission is to protect the leaders in the event of a sworn attack- or event of an attack. That is all. Still no real control. King of Mariabul. Holy crap, this is the long queen of Silverland. Guild Galad Master. <clears throat> Again, I still have no control. Holy crap, this is not even the midpoint of the game. So the Guild Galad Master does not think that... Uh, I won't have it if ring, I say. Right. Impulsive, are we? And again, you always were. Why are you so plumb about it? Have you thought about what giving arms complete cross-border rights mean? It means the strongest fighting force will have no limits. They can go anywhere. I think they're just terrorists with legal backing, which will make them even harder to dispose of. They're not terrorists. Their actions are just... We think it is erroneous to mistake the two. It just means they're fooling you. <laughs> Aren't you mistaking good naturedness for virtue? I don't think... Let us ask the Guild Galad Master, then. What steps do you intend to take against these? Each country must strengthen their armed forces. That's the only way. 
However strong the terrorists get, our, arm, our ability to defend ourselves must be greater. Peace through superior strength. And this is where... It's a little hint as to what's going on with Gilgalad. That phrase is probably a slightly different translation of a particular very famous phrase for the U.S. I'll get to more of that later. You're underestimating their fighting ability. You will not understand until you see it yourself. <laughs> they can only be so strong. With our skill, we at Guild Galad could easily bring them to their knees. You know the Treaty of Escargot was to limit military strength. We're faced with an emergency! Forget the treaty! Doesn't this Valeria Chateau itself violate the treaty? There are no arms aboard the Chateau, just arms itself. Your ideas are dangerous. Such thoughts will not make me forget the kingdom engulfed in salt. Will you follow in Sleheim's footsteps? Well done, call. We're in the middle of a summit. I'm sorry, but this is an emergency. There's a thermal energy source on the radar that may be the enemy aircraft Verukius. 500 until contact. Is the enemy attacking? Oh, that is regrettable. But what will you do? You just said you had no weapons on board. How will you face them? We expected Ota such a comp during the summit. Why don't you take this opportunity to observe our close combat skills? We're depending on you. Ashley, do your best. I, I can't believe you want me so calm! God, you know how much danger we're in! Well, yeah, that's true. But I've also seen arms in action. I mean, they are from my country, after all. Worrying about the situation won't, won't help the situation. We must leave it to them, Guild Galad Master. Still no control. All formations. First battle formation. All soldiers. Force. Ah, first battle formations immediately. Now the ship will launch an ambush on the enemy's Gullwing class flying machine. Ashley, Brad, Lilka, and Tim will storm the plane's interior with the assault anchor. Our essential goal is to completely silence the flying machine's battle capabilities. After the mission, return to the anchor. After recovery, the mission will be complete. Currently, our plane and the enemy's plane are flying at, at 0800 southwest of Hamats. In other words, we're over the middle of the ocean. No need to worry about those below. We must destroy the enemy Gullwing class flying machine here and now. It's a perfect opportunity to destroy the enemy's power. We must win this battle. Over! I am talking so damn much. They're literally just shooting us out of an anchor. It's great. Send the number 16 assault anchor. Don't be late. Those that blow their chance don't live long on the field. Ashley's group is all aboard. Begin injecting the buffer gel. Direction confirmed. Distance modification complete. All green here. Part of the enemy's gullwing class flying machine is fixed in the target's range. Trigger preparations complete. Good luck with the timing. Rest is up to you. Go give it your all. Song. Grappling. Arrow. Thing. Alright, welcome to the Warwing Verukius. Ouch, so rough. Are you guys all right? I'm okay, I think. Oh, it looks like I'm okay too. It's me. It sounds like everyone has arrived safely. Is this what you call safe? If you can complain like that, you must be okay. You have the next mission. For the next mission, you have two tasks. One is to silence the enemy's flying machine, Verukius. The other is for you all to safe, escape safely out there. Aside from the first task, I certainly hope to manage the second. After you disrupt the plane's power functions, come back here promptly. Winding back the assault anchor will help us retrieve you guys. In other words, we've got to ride this thing on our return. 
Okay, okay, after completing the mission, return here. Be sure to recover the anchor. From now on, I will take the comfort of your ride into consideration. Over and out. Irving's a dick. Alright, is there a freaking save point anywhere near here? Because unfortunately, Ashley still does not have any, and I mean any, status effects. Which means he's going to gain XP from every random encounter. I'm just going to make this video long, I think. No, okay. That's a kick. Knew it was something. Ah, here's the save point. Okay, then I don't have to make this super long then. I will stop it here. Damn it, me. Ah, screw it. I don't feel like reloading. This is not that big of a deal. Kick. All right. Let's save, and I will stop and actually get something to drink and maybe even eat something today. That would be nice. I'll talk to you later, Danette. Oh, also perfectly appropriate. Bye. Do, 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 do.